Exactly one year ago today, I made a video that would change everything. It's where I announced that I was gonna do a bodybuilding show and drop a bunch of weight. Today, I'm going to post the full conversation that we had one year ago, and then I just met up with Martina, and I'm gonna post the next conversation that we had today. Although this is more for documentation purposes, there's some really cool stuff that happened today, and I hope you enjoy this video as much as I've enjoyed this entire journey so far with you. I gotta hide here before I tell you this, because it's kind of ridiculous. All right. They like, um... Zen yourself, ready spiritually, mentally. I'm ready for this. Physically for this news. All right, so <laughs> if you know me, you know I only do extremes. I don't do half of anything, I just send it. Mm -hmm. And your post today for the camera was really, really, it, it touched sort of exactly what I'm about touched to Touched your soul. Yeah, and the post was, what was the post again? <laughs> <laughs> your weight loss. You're right, yeah, yeah. Your weight loss journey can't come from a place of shame. Shame, yeah. It has to come, I don't remember what, what else it was. Mm -hmm. But like, I feel like every time I've tried to lose weight aggressively, that's what it was. It was always like, I'm ashamed to take off my shirts, mm -hmm. I'm gonna lose much of weight so I can go pick up girls because I look good mm -hmm. now, right? That was my, mm -hmm. always my initial, but I mean, I spent last weekend walking around shirtless in a competition because I didn't give a shit anymore. You know, it was one of those things like, I don't care. Anymore. Nice. And what I'm about to do here, what I'm about to attempt, it's the craziest shit I'll ever do in my life. <laughs> but I've noticed again that whenever I do a goal, I'm sorry, whenever I set a goal, mm -hmm. I fucking follow through. That's true. I always follow through. Mm -hmm. Like my goal right now was to do one Strongman show. I, I did three. Mm -hmm. And now I'm, I'm gonna finally listen for the first time to my body and to my friend's advice. Yes, Martina, <laughs> Max, Sam, they're all telling me the same thing. Which is you're too fat. No, I, I never said that. Not in those words. <laughs> but I never said that. It's like, because right now I weigh 360 something pounds. So mm -hmm. every step I take is like having like a hundred pound dumbbell attached to my back. Yep. And for no reason. Yep. When I could not have a hundred. Imagine what I could do physically if I didn't have that. I told extra, you this. Right. Hey, shh. And what I said also <laughs> is that you're already in a good routine of getting to the gym, doing those workouts, which most people lack. Like most people are not even consistent with workouts. You are, so all you need to do is just add the nutrition part and Pretty you're much. gonna freaking kill it. So, what I'm going to attempt, what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna pre preempt this by saying that I'm not gonna change the way I train all that much. Mm -hmm. Obviously, some things will have to be added to achieve this, but I'm gonna keep doing my strongman training because I love it. Obviously, I'm gonna lower the weights a little bit mm -hmm. to strengthen all my little muscles that are having trouble mm -hmm. right now because everything hurts. But I'm gonna pick a date. I'm gonna I'm and I'm, I'm gonna show up no matter what, no matter what happens, no matter what, no, no matter what I look like by then, no matter what it is. But <laughs> I'm gonna follow through on this, and I'm gonna pick and attend next year a bodybuilding show. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. You're not. I'm going to. That's the goal. I'll probably have a lot of stretchy skin by then because I'm going to be very aggressive with my weight loss. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to zoom in on that it's so hard. It's going to be Are great. You? I'm going to do it. So I was looking at, there's one in Calgary around like end of May, June ish. So yeah, that, well, that's what it was this year. So hopefully it'll be around the same dates next year. So I'll just sign up for it the second that the signups are up and I'm going to send it. Are you? <laughs> I, I'm going to give it everything I got. Fuck, yeah. I told you, you know. I, I know how hard it's going to be mentally before and after. You know the, the, what the, I went through. <laughs> yes, like, yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to do my best. It's like realistically, if I could get to like, let's say 12, 13% body fat, that'd be fucking fantastic. And so the, that's the thing, I, I'm not going there to win. Because if I go there to win, I'm only gonna be disappointed. I don't have the body to, just, be, a, to, just, to be a bodybuilder. Just to do it, yeah. Exactly, like, like my, my core just, is just. massive, right? Because of all like, this, like, because of being fat my whole life. Mm -hmm. So my obliques are gonna be bigger than most people's waists, mm. realistically, mm. but, but I'm doing this just because I wanted to do this in college. I want to do it in university. And, and I, 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 I and fell I, off. I inspire you. You did. You did. I'm so. joking. But no, no, but you did though. Like, it's like, it's a mixture of you, Max, and Sam. The way you guys like always follow through on your goals. You set a goal, you, you crush it. So I'm, and it's the same thing with Strongman. I did it and now I'm going to be back to Strongman. Absolutely. It's, it, it's my love, 100%. But I need to listen to my body and I need to shed 
this entire other person I have sitting on me all the time. So I'm assuming I'll have to lose about 110, 20 pounds. It's possible, it's gonna be hard. I'm gonna call you at like 1 a.m. sometimes to go like, Martina, I'm like so close to hitting order on my Ubers. I'm my Uber Eats, convince me not to. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> competing is hard. It is, it is. Like it's hard. Yeah. But. I can already see the doubt in your face, but I'm gonna crush it, I don't give a but shit. But no, I mean, this is like one thing, you know how much I like don't like competing for several reasons. Yeah. But at the same time, it was probably like one of the best experiences I've put myself through and hardest thing that I've put myself through. And I don't regret at all. However, I know I will never ever probably compete again, but it was amazing experience. And it, it, has, it has like taught me a lot about myself and what I'm truly capable of. So yeah. I think that if you'll get to the finish line, just like you said, it's not, for, for, for some people, including me, it's, it wasn't about placing first. It was about just to prove myself I can do this. Based That's on exactly my, it. Yeah. yeah, based on my eating disorder history, it was just like I just wanted to walk on the stage in those little tiny bikinis. <laughs> and because I was always so like shame and just didn't want to show my body because I hated my body, that like walking on the stage in the tiniest bikini ever was already like stepping outside of my comfort zone. So the moment I walked on the stage, I truly didn't care how I placed. I was just like, I'm here, yeah. I won. Like I already, this is my prize, like I won. <laughs> I don't care yeah. how I place, I'm here. And I, 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 was, I was the happiest. Like I'm gonna have to get a banana or something and put in that Speedo because I'm not ready for that, <laughs> for, 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 for that exposure, we'll call it. <laughs> I'm gonna cheer on you, like I'm gonna be in a party. It's gonna be rough. Like, fuck yes, it's gonna be rough. I'm gonna have to do cardio like every single day. I'm gonna have to eat near perfectly. Oh yeah, you I'm, go I'm gonna have to suffer for the next year. But if I can do this, I feel like losing all this weight and keeping it off is gonna add like 10 years to my life. Oh dude, even more. Probably. Like, I mean, it's not, yeah, it's about just like the health part, right? Like you just fucking take care of your body till yeah. it's too late. Like the reason why I even thought about doing this in the first place is because of my last blood test. They were rough. Like it looks like a kid with a red crayon went and had fun on the paper. Cause like all, every single one of my things was, was, was in the red, everything. So I think it's time to, and it's one of those things, like yes, bodybuilding is the goal, like getting on stage is the goal, but as soon as I, and I mean, my gastroenterologist is gonna be very closely, like, cause I get my blood test done every month, so it'll be easy to track, thank God. But um, the second that things start going south or start going weird, I'll stop, like I'm gonna pull the plug, obviously. But I think that it's only gonna go up from here, honestly. I, I'm proud of you. I, I like having goals is the best and uh, I, I'm proud of you. Yeah. All right, flash forward this. to six months from now. You got <laughs> this. Okay, wait, so let's, okay, so let's say 100 pounds, we'll, we'll say 100 pounds just for the sake of cl cl cleanness, right? Like, if I was 260, I would probably look sick. Let's Who be knows, real. I don't know. I think so. So let's say, so let, let's say we set the goal of 100 pounds in a year. That means about, give or take 10 pounds a month. Well, actually, a little bit less than 10 pounds, about like eight pounds a month. Eight pounds a month. I think it's very doable. I think that the first 30 are gonna come off in the oh, first yeah. like two weeks. Oh, no, two, like, not two, Maybe a month, like 20 pounds in a month, yeah. probably for, for the first 20. First, yeah. It's gonna be a lot of like water retention, it's gonna be a lot of like stuff like that. Yeah, I'm gonna need your help. I got you. I'm gonna post a video every single day. I got you. I got you. See, this all sounded great and until I actually said it, now I'm like terrified. <laughs> yeah. Because, don't be fucking shitty client. <laughs> don't be I, shitty. Got, I got you, but. What's a shitty client? Uh, like, I don't want to be asking you if you ate your food or if you. Oh no, I'm going to tell you. I, Every like, time I fuck I, up, I will tell you, yeah, I will text you. Yeah, because if I have to like, if I have to find out, then you fired and I fire people. There you go. 
you know me. But you can't fire me as a friend, so you're fucked on that sense. Oh, but friends, yeah. we can be friends, but <laughs> client yeah. and and uh, this is and be... relationship. Oh god damn, this is gonna be rough. All the stakes are this. up. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, cool. So this is gonna fucking suck. <laughs> So here we are after a year. <laughs> so yeah, okay, on August 5th, 2023, I announced that I was gonna do a bodybuilding show. On and my face. And your face was pretty funny because on August 5th, 2023, I weighed 372 pounds. Insane. Which is 153 pounds more than I do right now. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and I was doubting you so bad and I feel so bad now because like your transformation, dude. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like literally my face when I said no. I'm like. So you said no, but then you like paused for like eight seconds. You're like, wait, are, are, is this, am, am I being pranked? Like, is, yeah, is this I was literally, I was like, because that was the last thing I thought you would say. I was like, because you, you, we, we came here and you were like, I have a big announcement for you. Yeah. And, and I texted like, you that morning. You know, no, it was like a two day prep where it was like, something big's gonna happen. I'm gonna let you know, get and, ready for it. And, <laughs> and, the, and you were like, let's hit the gym, let's work out. And once we are done, we'll just sit down and I'll just like, I'll, I'll just like announce something on the camera. Yeah. And you were the first person. And I'm like, okay. And I honestly don't remember what I thought that it would be. But when you said a bodybuilding show, my in my head, I'm literally like, <laughs> bullshit. Like, there's no way. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, he's gonna stick to it for a I'm month like, and quit. You're fat. <laughs> <laughs> I was almost 400 pounds. Like, we're gonna 400 pounds. Because I'm gonna do show. I think that the reason why, in my head, I was like, this is like impossible goal, is because I've known you for years already, and I knew that you're lazy. You, you binge on freaking fast food. <laughs> when I attempt to help you with your macros. That went horribly. You were like, no. And I'm like, I'm literally wasting my time with this person trying to give him a meal plan and yeah. help him to lose weight. Because there were so many times when you share with me things that you've been dealing with that only you've been experiencing because you were overweight right like relationship wise like girls and things like that and i'm like or lack thereof in that case yeah and, and i told you like fitness has changed my life as corny as it sounds like it has changed my life and i want to help you to experience the same thing so when you announced it i was like knowing you prior to that and your commitment to even what i was trying to help you with like i've sent you meal plan have you ever followed it I think I did it for like three days. Yeah, and then you were just like horrible client. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I'm just wasting my time. And I was just like, no, I'm not doing this for him because he doesn't want it bad enough. So when you said I'm doing bodybuilding show, I was like, okay. I think that it's, I think that that's a combination of two things. One, you can never force somebody to do something. Exactly. Until they're ready to actually do it. Yep. You're, you're kind of shit out of luck. Yeah. And two, I think I had finally reached like that infliction point, that that, that real fucking moment where I was like, I'm done. The, the like, rock this bottom. Is it, this, yeah, exactly. The rock bottom. Thank yeah. you. Where like, and it was literally like I I remember so clearly. I turned around in bed and I was out of breath. And I was mm -hmm. like, this is fucked. <laughs> like some. And then prior to the announcement, you were also got some tests done, and it was like everything was, was like so bad. Yeah. So I think that that kind of contributed to like, okay, I need to do something, and like. For you, you are already like into like the strong man. The you've been doing happy. strong man, but you ate like crap. I ate like shit. So it wasn't really helping you to change your physical appearance. However, you've been building muscles underneath already. Yeah. So it was just like you needed that wake up call. And whether it was the blood test or not being able to breathe, turning you know into yeah. in your bad. It, Whatever it was, I'm so proud of you. Like I remember in that video, I said something along the lines of like, I think I'm gonna have to lose about 110 to 120 pounds. Yeah. And that's honestly what I thought would have been possible. Like, like if I would have went balls to the wall for a full year, that's what I would have thought would have mm -hmm. been possible. So like when I say that like I don't, I never expected to look like this. 
by this time frame, that's ridiculous. I think no one did. I mean, like, like even after, because so I asked, our mind. like, I asked Derek Lunsford, Mr. Olympia, he said three years. I asked Half Thor, I, yeah. he said three years. Yeah, I watched the video. Connie Rambot said 18 months. Like, n nobody was ready for the great cut of the century. <laughs> you know what I mean? Insane. And, and my social media blew up because nobody fucking believes that it's true. Yeah, it's, it takes a lot of um, sacrifice and willpower and effort and just grind. Because I went from eating like, what, like maybe 500 bucks of Uber Eats every two weeks to absolute 100% consistency, not fucking up on my, well, okay, the entire year I fucked up on my meal plan once. And it was, a, and it was just last week actually, where I, I, I don't know what happened. I just kind of like freaked out. I had an extra rice cake and a couple other pieces of chicken. I know, I, and that's that, why I messaged you. Right, and I was like, ah. I was like, stop it. <laughs> Like, it was a rice cake, you're good. <laughs> I was like, stop it. <laughs> but there I was crying at midnight after doing an hour of cardio, a heart rate of one, 140 BPM. Like, yeah, sick. this this could be another topic for maybe our podcast together oh, to 100%. talk about how this, uh, you know, like uh, f full respect to what you've accomplished because that's not something that anyone can do, really, not too many. I don't think I know anyone who could do that. Um, but it has their... It, it has its own problems. It has its problems, yeah. And then it has a lot of like issues that you'll have to fix afterwards after you step on the stage for the second time in November, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then you'll have to go through this whole new journey of like being, being okay to not always look shredded, being okay to not always be 100% disciplined if you want to have your life back. Yeah. Because right now your life is your show. Oh yeah, my entire identity is summer shredding. Everything. Like yeah. you just literally like you just like put everything on the side and you're just like hyper focused on that one specific goal and uh, you'll crush it. I can't wait. Twelve days. Insane. Oh my god, Twelve I have days. like goosebumps. So it's okay, so it's funny. In the summer shredding video, well you guys are gonna see this before I actually post the video. But in these, my in my two minutes transformation class video, because they play the video for two minutes, then I go on stage. Yeah. So that people get they get to hear my story, and then there's like a fat picture of myself, and then I walk on stage. Like but like in that video, um, when so I, I have obviously like a clip of us talking where I say I'm going to do a bodybuilding show, but then on this screen I say one year and eleven days ago, which is crazy to think about, right? And when you think about like how how many people say like oh it's gonna when you tell them, oh, you want to lose 30 pounds, it's going to take you up to a year. People think like, oh, a year, like why it can be done in three months. But think about how quick the year oh has by. Like God. time <laughs> goes by so quick. Like I just yeah. cannot even believe that it's been already a year since we've been sitting here in my bright orange sports bra yeah. with my face. I had like, I think my Shaw Classic t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. And you could, you were sitting here like, with <sighs> your big belly, just like literally, oh, I can't believe it's been already a year. It's been one year, exactly. So anyone who listens to this, year is not that long and you can do so much in a year. Like, look at this. You should put those pictures side by side because like, every time I saw you like six months into your journey, yeah. every time I would see you, we would do, workouts i would be like who is this person <laughs> yeah i'm working like every three months with a new friend <laughs> i think it's very important to say though that people need to taper their expectations yeah because the reason i mean there's obviously a few reasons why i managed to burn weight that burn weight this fast one is i didn't have any responsibilities yeah i didn't have a job i didn't have kids i didn't have yeah. any of that I, my, my entire day was focused on just the gym so i was like yeah. a six to eight hour routine in the gym yeah with nothing else another one is obviously genetics that plays a huge part and yeah. As you can, like my and my little brother being an Olympic runner kind of sells in the fact that we. You don't have brothers. <laughs> well, 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 you know, like we got picked from the good pool. <laughs> yeah, you, so yeah, you guys good. are completely different. And also the fact that I had an extremely large muscle mass underneath made it so my knee or my BMR was you've, very high to begin with. You've already built a lot before, yeah. but you've had the foundation. And I knew how to train properly. I know how to track my cardio well and like th th at yeah. least those aspects. Sure, yeah. my food was complete trash, but also. I ate the exact same meal for seven months straight. Yeah, I know. You're freaking egg How many people can do that? <laughs> the, You're freaking the egg same noodles. food, the Every same Every time I like... see egg noodles, I see Simon. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I should start my own egg noodle company. You should I, I start think, like, extra protein egg noodles. Like that would, that, yeah. I, th I think it's gonna have to be a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm proud of you. You did it. Yeah. So oh, I, I didn't do it yet. I didn't do it yet. You did. I, I have 12 no, days. you did. I have you 12 did. days to finish you... the promise that I made to you. Yeah, but you d you did yeah, what not many won. people you already won. Yeah. That's that was the one thing that I I like that was the one reason why I competed for the first time 2 years ago. I wanted to just prove myself I can. And that is you know when you bring home the trophy or like you know the medal or the whatever. The medal or yeah. whatever. It's amazing because you can look at it every single day like I had it for the longest time in front of my TV on the stand yeah, yeah. beside, just like every time I would look at it, I was like, you did it. But like, I felt the biggest accomplishment when I walked on the stage in those mm. tiny bikinis. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was like the feeling that I was striving for for 16 weeks, nothing compared to what you've done. But like, you did it. Like, just don't take that away from you. You already did it. Like, yes, you. That's just the cherry on the cake. The fact that you're gonna be standing on yeah, the in a little stage speedo. in a little speedo, Showing like my shit. <laughs> that's just you know, like it's that's just the cherry on the cake because all the work you've put in for those 11 months or how long, that's what it's like. Yeah. That, to give yourself that. That's the biggest accomplishment. I think that also one thing that's very different from this weight loss that I've done compared to all the other ones because unfortunately I've had to lose 100 pounds before. Yeah. And there's two big things. One is I acknowledge the fact that I have demons to fight after this and I'm probably gonna need some sort of therapy because there's no way that I like battled all my demons by crash dieting for a year. That, that's, that's impossible. In fact, I know that, at least like that self-awareness, I feel is important. But two is the fact that I managed to get low enough in body fat percentage where my, my palate changed. And I used to hate veggies. I crave veggies now. Mm -hmm. Like bean sprouts and bok choy, I'll eat that forever, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. And like, and I guess learning those lower calorie options and actually learning to enjoy them, I think is a very big win. Mm. That's, that's the, I think that that's the topic that you should talk about, how this time around was different compared to what you've done before and then you put on all the way back and got depressed again because it's, it, I hope it's not going to happen, and I hope that in those 11 months you build your habits to the point where you will never going to go back to the old Simon, ever. I think Regardless that of if it means that you will put on maybe like 30 pounds. Of course, yeah. And that's fine because you're still going to be fit and healthy, but you can go from one extreme to the other, so the one thing that you need to like be aware of that once you step off the stage for the second time in November, you have to be very self-aware, like off, like, you know, there is a thing like post-depression, like I've told you, I've experienced that, right? Yeah. Knowing that, okay, now you almost have like a green light to eat whatever, whatever you, you want. want. And the moment you realize that, your brain goes to like a mode, like, oh, just today I'm going to have these two cookies and tomorrow I'm going to go back to clean eating and then from tomorrow it's the day after and from the day it, it's yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you need, a, I personally think you need a coach to coach you through the reverse diet. Oh, 100%. Because if you don't have a coach, that's going to be incredibly hard for you mentally because now you are loving everything about your body. Yes, maybe you are like, you know, maybe you don't like your skin. That's nothing you can really do about, but like looking at your veins, looking at your form, arm, your calves, like yeah. your, your quads, like you're loving all of it. But then when you step off the stage and you eat a little bit more carbs, you still look so good. But in your brain, it's like, I'm fat. I'm missing a line that I used to have here with the yes. oh, this vein is hitting. And it's so yeah, 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 yeah. hard, yeah. dude, like I have experienced that. You know that because you... Yeah, I was there for it. I saw You've it. been there, right? <laughs> yeah. Like that was so hard because I was still back then 15 pounds lighter than I'm now. And I was standing in the kitchen crying to Ken on his arm saying I'm fat. And he's like, what? What in the world? I can see your ad veins. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> And like as someone who's never competed, he was like so... He didn't know how to help me, how yeah. what to say to make me feel of better. Course. Like it's just, it's just mind fuck. Yeah. But. Yeah, no, I know, like I know there's a long road ahead. This is just the beginning, but 
I feel as though at least the fact that I'm sort of building that social media platform around all this is going to be my accountability system. hundred percent. You know, the fact that I'm always going to have to be posting fitness style YouTube content, I can't let myself go. Yeah. You know, and I, I feel like those at least, those accountability, accountability metrics are what's going to save me in the end. And that is very important. And whether it's social media or your girlfriend or your friends or yeah. your parents, find the thing that holds you accountable to your goals after the show. Absolutely. And don't focus just on the show because the hard work, honestly, like... As much as it sounds like, okay, the 11 months of grinding, losing the weight is extremely hard, but the post-show could be even harder. Especially if I don't win, yeah. Because no, then I, like, just like the thought of beating myself up and thinking like, oh, what if I didn't have that one rice cake? Would that have made the difference? Yeah. That, that, that can be, I, I can see how dangerous that thought pattern yeah. can become very yeah. quickly. Yeah. 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 One year. Insane. One year. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, yeah. eh? Yeah, I think I think that's good, honestly. Yeah. Alright, everybody, see you later. <laughs>